Because why is somebody calling me? One second. One eternity later. Pull up. Pull up. I got that money, that talk of that blue up. Chip, ride around town with a big boat team, better pull up. Chip, I got the beer, but I got that money, won't talk better pull up. Chip, I wonder what she should be talking about because I got that money that. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley Babe, and I'm back with another video. Anyways, sorry, I felt like I had to redo my entry because somebody called me, and it's like, why are people always gonna call me when I'm trying to record a video? Like, I literally just told people to stop calling me. So I can record this video but anyways so if you guys haven't already watched my last video make sure that you guys put this video on pause and go watch my last video because I had a little did a little birthday try on haul where I got to try on some cute little birthday outfits for you guys so make sure you guys go check that out um in that video I told you guys that there was a part two to this video which was um like I said if you haven't watched that video uh, <clears throat> go watch it um I just recently graduated from nail school uh i currently have my permit my nail permit i just took my written exam last week and i have my practical exam in like two weeks and then after that i will be getting my permanent license for those that don't know i've been doing nails for years but i only did my own nails and i would do like family members slash friends uh nails and that was it but you know since i lost my job and i want to do my own thing and i want to be my own boss and i want to work for myself because i don't like people telling me what to do because i want to be my own schedule that's on period um i just decided to go to school for something that i already been known how to do right so um as you guys know the stuff that i bought for my birthday was from shein i did not know until just recently that shein actually has nail supplies um just mostly like a little designs and little storage stuff but it's definitely handy uh it's definitely very inexpensive just like anything else that comes from shein so if you are a new nail tech an existing nail tech um and you want to like save a little money you're balling on a budget or it doesn't matter when you own your own business and you do your own thing you gotta like do what's best for you in your business right so blowing um, like a bunch of money on very expensive like like design tools or little gadgets or little like storage bins and all that like it's just kind of like unnecessary you know what i'm saying like you can if you want to but it's like if you don't have to you don't have to you know what i'm saying it's like save money where you can because certain things you can't cut corners you know what i'm saying when it comes to like materials like uh, acrylic powders and like polishes and like polymer polymer shit like stuff like that you can't cut corners on that you gotta have like top-notch best stuff right so you have like the best application you have the best nails but when it comes to like you know little stickers or little little like powders or little like like designs and embellishments for the nails like you can definitely get that at a whole cheaper price if you just do your research and like i said i just seen it i think it might have been tiktok or shein or something or um tiktok or social media where i seen that you could actually that shein actually offers nail supply stuff so i was like why not order some stuff and do a little haul with you guys of all the nail supplies that i got from shein so with that being said let's not waste no time and let's get right into the haul right so sorry i dropped this um this is one of the things that i got right here and it is a sanitation tray uh, this right here is very important uh, thing for you to have when you are a licensed nail tech. Um, by law, you are obligated to clean your implements that are uh, that are um, can be cleaned or can be sanitized. Uh, certain things cannot be sanitized, and those things are considered like disposable implements, and those have to be thrown away after every service. But the ones that are reusable implements, those you have to like clean these you have to put like water in here with something called barbicide it's just like a disinfecting uh stuff that you put in here and you like let it sit for like 10 minutes and then that's how you like you know clean your little tools up obviously there's more steps to that but the gist of this is this is very important i got this from shein and i think it was like it wasn't like od expensive maybe like five dollars no more than 10 i know for sure no more than ten dollars the second thing that I got was this little um, storage uh, container. So right here, I'm probably going to put like some some cotton balls, Q-tips, or like the little uh, nail polish remover wipes that I bought. I'm about to show you guys what they look like. Um, but yeah, so I got this. Um, I also, I bought a 
lot of like different things this is something else that i bought it's a um it's a little stand but it looks like this it's really cute and it's just like to put your brushes in excuse me so like for example don't mind me because i got nail stuff over here because i was doing nails but like you could put like a little brush don't mind my brush it's a little crooked because i was using it but anyways so this is a cute little um little dish that i bought to put on my nail table uh let's see here what else did i get i purchased some nails which these are the nails that i have on right now they're kind there are a stiletto i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna get one of the nails to try to show you guys so you can see what it looks like but it's a c nail it's a c-shaped nail and it's uh can y'all see it i don't know if the camera is doing it justice but it's a a c-shaped nail and it's a coffin i think so coffin c-shaped nails these are the nails that i have on right now so this is what they look like don't mind my nails they look a little crazy right now because i did them like I don't know, maybe like a week ago, but then I've been doing people's nails. So like I got polish and stuff on my nails now. So kind of messed up. These are the little wipes that I was telling you about. I bought these. Um, I think these was like a dollar fifty or maybe two dollars. I don't know. Not nothing crazy. This this as well was like a dollar, dollar fifty. This was like a dollar, dollar fifty. I think the tips was like two fifty something like that three dollars these these are the little um uh wipes these are um they're nail wipes and they are lint free so lint free nail wipes is what they're called um i got two packs of these and they have 360 count each and i bought two of these but these are just basically to like remove polish and they don't have lint so very highly recommend these because when you have like the little cotton balls like it's cool to remove polish but they look they do leave lint so that's very important when you're doing nails you don't want to have lint left behind when you're doing polish because if you know you know you know what i'm saying it makes your job harder um i also bought these right here these are reusable um nail brushes so this is what they look like or i think these were like same thing maybe like two 250 and this is what they look like so these these are considered uh reusable implements and these can be sanitized in the water because it is a brush and it can be clean so as long as you wash it with uh with like a dish detergent you wash it really good and then you put it in a little uh sanitation implement liquid for 10 minutes and then it can be reused so i bought like a pack of 12. um i got these brushes right here i think these were also like a dollar or two but um these are these are brushes to do 3d art so to do like 3d flowers or any 3d designs to do acrylic so they're just like smaller fine print fine brushes um see here so i can show y'all this is my current don't mind my brush because she a little dirty but this is like a regular acrylic brush that i use to do nails and this is like a fine as you guys can see the fine a uh, little point on these so to do 3d flowers these are definitely good for that um i bought this little tray which i'm already using it but this is a uh an implement tr uh little bin uh once you disinfect your tools and they are completely clean and they are sanitized you have to put them in a closed container before you can use it on your next client so definitely bought this to make sure everything is nice and sanitized and we are following all the, all the rules around here okay let's see here what else do i have in here oh i also bought this little thing right here which is like a little pillow cushion which i also think it was like maybe like three dollars but yeah so you just like have your client rest, rest their hand on this while you're doing their nails it's really cute yes okay then i bought this right here which was like a dollar maybe dollar fifty um but this is um 
this is like design tape so like if you want to do like little lines on a nail and they like different colors and stuff this is what it's for if you want to do like per if i'm feeling lazy and i don't feel like drawing the lines with the art brush i can just put a little, little straight line with the tape with the colorful tape and then i can just put it on the nail and then these come there's probably like they're so thin but maybe there's like 10 little uh different colors that's how thin the tape is it's literally like a little thin line super cute um this is another thing that i got it's a uh, disposable uh buffers once again this is what you consider a non-reusable implements so these are disposable implements these can only be used per customer so they're really small and tiny let me show you what one looks like they look like this they're really small so after you file the nail you buff the nail with this and then just kind of like give the nail shine and then once you're done with it you just throw it away because okay you can't wash that these Actually, you know what? I didn't even get this these from Shein. I got these from Amazon. But these are press-on nails. So I bought these as well because <clears throat> I will also be making press-ons. And yeah. Let's see. I bought these little decals. They're like little. Hmm, can you guys see this? They're like little bitty flowers in different colors. So stinking cute um these are like a dollar maybe maybe i got these which are like little pearls and they are in different sizes these were also like a dollar 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 25 dollar 50 i don't know these i also got which are more like little uh decal designs i have like little lollipops little strawberries i think these are like little cats these are like little desserts what are these stars what are these flowers so i got this in maybe same maybe like a dollar or two i don't know these are one of my favorites these are little cherries i love those love those so sticking cute can't wait to use those those was maybe like a dollar fifty as well um i also purchased these brushes right here these brushes are to do gel so as you guys can tell they are different from these so these are for acrylic and these are for gel but they can be used also to do certain designs with a uh, gel polish so yeah i bought these as well as you can tell there's different sizes so i got little ones and then i got bigger ones over here on, this, on, on the end so very very excited to do that or to use those let's see here this is another thing that i bought but like i was a little dis disappointed so this right here i bought and it's got a little lead on it i was gonna use this to keep my polymer but she's a little look at that nothing's gonna fit in there i cannot use this like i literally wasted my money but this was maybe like two dollars so whatever 250 this is the one that i currently use right now it's a little bit bigger oops i got like stuff stuck on it but yeah so this one's a little bit bigger and this one's more reasonable like i can actually use this one so comparison to the one that i have now compared to the one that i purchased like so tiny can you all see so tiny so anyways probably won't be using that um that's the only thing i don't like about when you buy stuff online it's just like you don't know what you're gonna get so another reason why I don't like buying stuff online, I purchased this as well. It's like a little crown where you can like lay your brush on it. Like when you're working, you can just like lay it down like that until you're done and you're ready to pick it back up. But how devastated, look at that. It broke and like, it's got like a missing piece right here. And like, I don't know if I could glue it back or like, or what, what's the deal? I mean, it looks like it might be glueable. We'll see. We will see. I just put that back in the box. So we'll see if we can fix it. Or if not, it's just going to be money wasted. But okay. That was maybe like... Maybe like $3. So 
Um, I also purchased this little brush. This is, um, can I, you guys see it? It's kind of like a flat, but a flat brush. But this is also to do designs. So, um, so yeah, I bought that. And then this is another thing that I bought that I'm like really excited about, but I might not even need to take it out because I think y'all y'all can see or know what it is by just looking at the pictures. So let's just let's just do that. So it's gonna make life easier. But this is the other thing that I bought. It's like a special tool that you use to like if you're doing like a fairy dust nail or a glitter nail or something like that. Uh, just so you don't make a mess you actually put the finger in this little like tray thing and then you like put you pour the glitter on top and the leftover glitter falls in this tray and then this tray has a little like thing that looks like this right there which picks up all the leftover glitter so you don't have to waste anything you can put it back in the little bin so definitely very handy right here's got a picture of it but like it's covered by the sticker but anyways this is very handy i think this was like two dollars 250 because one thing about me even though like some of these implements or a lot of these not implements but some of these like uh design stuff is cheap some like you still don't want to be just out here being wasteful because some of the some of the supplies are not cheap, so it's just like, I'm not about to be wasting a whole thing of glitter on one set of nails and then I don't waste the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is another, oh, there's two in here. Okay, so I bought this as well. And these, this, this is kind of like the other one where it's like a storage bin, which I don't know if I'm gonna need two storage bins now that I'm looking at it, but whatever. I, don't, I thought this was bigger. I thought this was like the other implement tray. This is like a teeny tiny. I don't even know if I'm able to use this. I just realized how small this was. I was thinking it was like this big. <laughs> but okay. Um, I think that was maybe like two or three dollars. Um, then I have this right here, which are, and I'm mad about this because why did I look at this? Look at this. Don't it look like like nails, like press on nails? No, girl. These are plastic forms, like, I didn't mean to buy these. I did not mean to buy these. I thought these were tips, girl, tips. I thought these were tips. These are not tips. These are forms. Well, what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> but okay, whatever. Might, might use them one day, maybe. Um, I bought these as well, which also too, I thought these were bigger. That's another thing that I don't like about buying stuff online is like, you be thinking you get one thing and then it be a lot smaller than you think once you get it. But um, I bought these and I was going to use this to like um, put glitters and stuff in it. Not glitters, put um, like uh, polymer powders that I make because I have a kit where I can like create my own acrylic colors. But this is going to be too small. So the only thing that I'm gonna be able to use this for is to like add, like put some of my little design, little um, whatever. What do you call these? What do you call these? Not stencils, but like these, the little design charms, design charms. I could put little charms in those maybe possibly. Um, This is another thing that I got. And this is, um, I don't know the technical term for this, but it's just kind of like a swatch so if i'm doing like a like a gel polish design and you know you're really not supposed to leave your nail polishes your gel polishes open because it will like dry out and mess up so you just like dab some polish on here and then you do the design using the polish that's on here and then you can close your polish so you don't leave it open and you're not being wasteful once again it's all about saving and not wasting this is something else that i got as well and this is a um, another set of implement tools so i have the the little uh, cuticle nippers and then i have the cuticle pusher so this is something else that i that i ordered i already have some but i ordered more just because whenever you have clients you have to have clean clean you have to have clean implements with every customer so stuff have to be washed so therefore 
just you know what I'm saying everything gotta be clean so if you what once I start getting busy and I start getting customers like back to back to back I might not have time to like clean my implements because it takes 10 minutes to like well you have to wash the implements first then clean them so if I have customers back to back I might not have time to like clean my implements between every customer so I'm gonna have like multiple sets of implements so that I can like you know move on to the next customer and like not have customers waiting this is another thing that I purchased they are little uh, dotting tools and this is to do like flowers or different designs I also purchased this which is like a unicorn fairy dust to do kind of like this this is a chrome nail but this is like more like a translucent gel um i also purchased some more diamonds little rhinestones because you can never have enough of those because people love having rhinestones on their nails um this is something else that i purchased as well which is which is one of these which i have to put this one back but one of these which is a 3d art brush um this is a th not a 3d this is an art brush so if somebody wants to do like uh, a french or wants to do like a little like design on their nail and i have to draw it out i have to use like this little bitty brush um and there's other little bitty ones in here but yeah it's like a whole set of different little size little brushes to do uh designs on the nail let's see here what else did i purchase we're almost done you guys Sorry, so let me get all this stuff out of here so I don't have to keep bending over. Um, I have another one of these, which is like the other one that I showed you guys. Um, I also ordered, this is also, remember I, this, these are the lint free wipes. I have another one of those. Uh, this is also something that I ordered, the little teddy bear charms, which are so sneaky cute. This is also something else that I ordered, which I feel like oops, will come in handy. But this is another, um, like you know how I was showing you the little bin to put the acrylic, the uh, brushes in. This is the same thing, but I think I'm gonna use this one differently for real, for real. Like, let me show y'all how I can use this. This one's not too big. Okay, let's say I use this, right? So you put this in here and then you set it in there. So like, I'm going to probably fill this up with acetone. So like whenever I'm done using my brushes, I can like set them in here and they can get washed or get cleaned while I'm waiting on the next customer. Okay. Then take it off and then set it down in my other tray, which is going to be the clean tray. The other one that I showed y'all. Put that in the, put those in there so that they'll have a clean little thing to sit on <laughs> these are also some other charms that i ordered right here they they're very uh popular they look like oh mm, it looks like a little like a little planet or something i'm not really sure i don't know if y'all can see it but yeah so they look like a little planet uh so stinky cute so got those and then i also ordered these which are also more charm more nail charms but these are like a little bit bigger and I didn't know they were going to be this big. I don't mm -hmm. I'm not saying nobody's going to get these. But like you have to have a long set. Like extendo set for sure. To have these nails because. To have these charms. Because these charms are like OD. They're big. And then the last thing that I ordered from there. Is these little charms. With all the uh, zodiac signs. I actually purchased this. And like I said for you guys that don't know. My birthday was the last month which makes me a cancer for those that don't know so that's why i ordered these charms because i actually did a birthday set and i put the cancer charm on one of my nails which was really stinking cute um i don't think i took a picture of that so i can't even show you what that look like but yeah these are really cute so let me make sure that's everything yep that about does it that's everything that i ordered from shein i did place another order from shein um and it's probably gonna be here within like the next week or two and i ordered a couple more things so if you guys want me to do another haul on all the things the other stuff that i ordered from shein make sure that you guys write it down in the comments below also if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see from me make sure that you guys let me know in the comments below what video what type of content do you guys like 
um so i can make sure i give you guys what i want or what you guys want to see and like i was telling you guys in my last video um i had to take a, like a little month break from uh doing youtube just because i was um studying for my nail exam and also had my citizen appointment this week like this past monday so i i actually passed my little test so i will be becoming a citizen within the next couple weeks and i'm so excited about that yay um so yeah i've been really busy studying i also went to boating school and i got my build my boating license because for those that don't know which y'all probably don't know but i actually own a jet ski business as well in charlotte north carolina so if you guys are interested in renting a jet ski in charlotte lake norman to be exact then definitely hit me up and y'all can rent rent out my jet ski but yeah so i have a jet ski business and um so i went to do that no my no exam my citizenship exam and i have another exam at the end of the month so i had been just been doing a lot so i just haven't had time to be recording videos recording is not the hard part editing is the hard part and i just didn't have the time for that but now that all like basically all my exams are over the one that i have at the end of the month like i'm not worried about that i'm gonna study for that a couple days before my exam and i'm gonna be good so i have a couple days where i'm free so I'm about to just be doing content for you guys. So like I said, if there's anything else that you guys would like to see from me, make sure that you guys write it down in the comments below because I want to give you guys what you want. And with that being said, see you guys on the next video. Bye! Hey, hey, hey.